it's it's uh it was an underlying addiction that I really never accepted. You know, I always thought I had a, a, a money problem. I didn't have enough money. Not that I had an addiction to gambling. I thought that that was my own problem. It was so bad that um I went home one summer, um, because you know, from my supposed school, uh, you're supposed to at least come home and say hi to your parents every once in a while during the summer. <laughs> So I, I go home and I'm like, oh man, I'm so broke. I wonder if I can get any money. So I asked my, I end up asking my little sister, who was like 13 at the time, if she had any money. You know, sometimes kids do. And in my family, no, we don't have any money. <laughs> so uh, I asked her, you know, hey, you got a couple hundred dollars, you know, that I can borrow. <laughs> and she's, you know, she's 13 years old. She, she doesn't have any money. She's like, I have two dollars that that uh, the dad gave me. This is two dollars that uh, that she gets for lunch, you know. Usually I ask the audience, you know, uh, to guess how much money um, she had. Uh, and the reason why is it's the exact same amount that, that got me into gambling. It was just the $2. Yeah. The $2, it, it turned my world upside down. But that same $2, that same amount, actually got me back on the right track again. Because I mean, the only thing that got me back out of gambling was, was my family, and and I thank God every single day that I had them. My sister doesn't realize that you know that just that simple remark of willing to give up her two dollars, giving up her lunch money, I actually could have saved my life. It could have saved my life. Um, I mean, I, I didn't take the two dollars, of course. Uh, <laughs> it wouldn't have been enough, anyways. <laughs> So um, yeah, I didn't take the two dollars, and I, I just I just couldn't. I had to, I realized that that's just not the life I wanted wanted to live, and I couldn't set an example, you know, be a good older brother um, if 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 I continued on that same path. So um, I I just resolved to to go back and, and and put in my notice and pretty much just get myself out of the atmosphere. Because I realized that it really wasn't so much the money. Yeah, the money was nice, but I think it was the atmosphere for me. Just being around the type of people, uh, everybody was having fun. You know, uh, when I was dealing cards, you don't see too many really sad people because sad people are the ones that are broke and aren't playing anymore. You, know, you see people with money, and you know, but you realize that they all had something in common. They they were always broke. And, and in the back of my mind, I always wondered, you know, I wonder who had to skip lunch for, him, for him, this person in front of me to make a bet. So that's, that's what I, I try to realize uh, every single day. And for me, it was just the atmosphere. So how I deal with it is I keep myself away from the casino. And I, I do these kinds of presentations. Um, it, was, it was the weirdest thing. I ne I was introduced to uh, Napa Fossa and on track and, and whatnot through a uh, one of the buddies that I play basketball with. Yeah, I play basketball. I'm pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> Don't come to my house. Uh, yeah, I play basketball with him. He was like, hey man, um, come on out and maybe you can help me. You speak Vietnamese and maybe you can help me do some presentations in Vietnamese. And it just happened to be about problem gambling. And one day, you know, my I forget who asked about a little biography, and I kind of shared it, and never, not realizing that I would actually share it on a regular basis, but I'm finding out that it actually helps me, that it helps me deal with it, and um, it, it helps a lot. And for me, family makes a difference too. So I always try to stress that if you if you have a problem, it's not, it can't be that bad. I mean, your family will still love you; they'll still try to help. And my family was able to bail me out. And for me to ever go back into casino and, and actually gamble, I mean, that would rip my parents' heart out. Because to this day, I haven't paid them back a single penny. And I don't think they'll ever take it. Um, and I hope you know, my, my story helps. And you're welcome to, to share with whoever. Just say, I met this short basketball player. <laughs> just gambles. And now he does it. So. It's it's it helps, and I, I want to thank you guys for coming out and and continuing to uh, to to work at it. And it's it's an issue that 
it goes for too long unnoticed. Uh, if, if anybody, share with anybody, if you know anyone, just get them help. You know, talk to them. That five minutes help a lot. I mean, two dollars, right? That's it. Thank you.